single comedian tonight. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting nice. no claps from me. Uh, yeah, man, I'm trying out this stand-up thing, trying to get good at it. Uh, I remember when I told my dad that I was uh, I was going to be a comedian, he was just like, boy, you're going to have to be funnier than me. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Because there is a funny story that explains how funny my dad is. Uh, I remember when my brother and his friend they came up to him because they were still teenagers, but not exactly legal. They were about 18, 17 years old. And he was like, hey dad, we got a couple girls coming over and we're gonna get some pussy. I was gonna see if you can buy us some condoms and some whiskey. He was just like, you know you can get condoms your own, right? He was like, yeah, but never bought them before. And he's just like, all right, fine, fuck it. So he goes to the, he goes to the gas station two miles up the street and he, Buys them a pack of condoms and some whiskey, you know, Jack Daniels, common white bullshit. And uh, it goes up to my brother and his friend. He's like, all right, you use it first. When you're done, you squeeze out the evidence. And then you're going to let your friend use it. Listen, man, I grew up in Alabama. We're poor. All right? We ain't got shit out there. We got to use condoms twice. Okay. Why do you think we got so many adoptions happening in Alabama? Like, we got too many children. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I was in the military. I was in the Army. Yeah. Thanks, I was in the National Guard. All I did was change oil. <laughs> I didn't deploy, I didn't get blown up. I had cancer. <laughs> If you really want to silence a crowd, you just say that word. Yeah. <laughs> Cancer. See how quiet it got? That's how it is with any of my, of my conversations. But anyways, when you go through the, uh, when you, anytime you enter the military, you're going to come, you have to go through an enlistment process. And in every Air Force base you go to, to enlist, there's going to be an old man that looks at your asshole. And I'm not just saying he looks at it like you have, you go in there with just underwear. Like Ace Ventura, and you bend over. <laughs> and he says, spread the cheeks. And you spread those cheeks. And he has to look at your asshole. What? That shit, yeah. Yeah. You want to go into the military? Be prepared to get your asshole looked at. Because it's more awkward than the time I was molested. So, <laughs> but like you bend over and he just says, oh, God damn, what, what is it? Why is it so hairy? I don't know, man, you tell me. That, uh, that was fun here in my head earlier. Yeah. Obviously I have one arm, as y'all can tell by looking at me, but uh, you know, I hate it when people say I'm disabled because I'm not disabled, okay? I may not be able to clap my hands, but I can still clap cheeks. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. They ain't okay. nothing off balance down in the hips, okay? <laughs> okay, whenever I do rows at the gym, you know, I might go to the right a little bit. <laughs> I don't lean right politically, <laughs> just physically. <laughs> oh, man. My dad's hilarious though, man. He, uh, I remember right at my, like a good way, gosh, hey. like a way that my dad disciplined me was, uh, besides whooping our ass with a belt or a switch, he, uh, he made us do push ups. And I remember after my amputation, me and him got into an argument and I smarted off to him. And uh, he was just like, hey boy, you gonna do some fucking push ups? <laughs> I was like, you fucking dick. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I'll do fucking 15 of them. And I did. But the thing is, he has fucked up feet. He had a piece of steel land on his feet, right? It landed behind his steel toes and it crushed his feet. He had to get steel pins put all through every single one of his toes. 650 pounds still being landed on his feet and crushed his feet. And I told his ass to go for a jog. Yeah. See how he likes it. 
I can do push-ups, but he can't do neither. He can't run nor do push-ups because he's fucking old. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I don't get it. I don't get how people have two arms and yet they still can't use a fucking blinker. Like, I don't know what it is about Virginia, but like, do y'all all drink and drive out here? Yeah. yeah. Do y'all? Okay, I figured so because nobody can stay in their fucking lane. So like, everybody's drifting to the right or the left. But yet again, I can still turn on my blinker that's on the left side with my steering wheel. This shit was a lot funnier last week. <laughs> I fucking killed this shit last week. Now it just sounds like the room whenever I was diagnosed with cancer. So like, <laughs> oh, there's some laughs. Yeah, laugh about the cancer. Talking. Oh. Yeah, I know, right? Cancer, it isn't fun. <laughs> Bro, you laugh really loud. You sound like a diesel truck when you're Damn. talking. Damn. Like, how, many, how much time do I got left? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That shit failed. No, you did <laughs> No, you did it. You did it. You can follow me at, uh, on Instagram and YouTube at Zach Games Comedy. Woo! Woo! Y'all give it up. Y'all give it up one more time for Zach, yo. I like that. Woo! All right, down the number. All right, next to me and coming to the stage, give it up for Ant Perez!